Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube today. I'm creating this very simple card but I want to show you a couple of new tools from Couture Creations to create backgrounds with jelly plate and alcohol inks and colouring in with alcohol ink markers creating a beautiful background with some new stamps that create beautiful backgrounds for cards but my technique for the jelly plates was a very simple one today anyone can do it using alcohol inks instead of paint and I'm going to show you how to create this very simple card so this is the jelly plate printing plate it's a 5 by 7 it comes in a clear packaging with two acetate pieces of paper in between now you can keep it in this container there's no difference in keeping this container but I just want to show you how I store mine it comes as a like of acetate film that you peel off I suggest you don't leave those films on because they can actually leave bubbles on your jelly plate and it's quite a sturdy gel and it's quite thick as well and I think the 5x7 is a great size because you can create wonderful backgrounds and you can always trim them down to the size of your card that you want to create with. So I store it in one of these uh, CD folders that you can buy from Couture Creations. And in the packaging it came with that lift out with this um, printout saying gel print plate. So I'm going to attach that into the sleeve at the front so then that way that stores it nice and neat you know where the instructions are and then I also have a piece of paper in here that's been cut to size and that's how I store my jelly print plate so that's a really great storage and it fits perfectly in one of these cases that's used for stamps as well so that's why I wanted to show you that's how I store my gel printing plate now there are a lot of techniques on using the gel printing plate you can use inks, you can use uh, ink pads, you can use lots of different types of inks, you can use paints, media, you can use stencils, you can use lots of things. I'm doing a very basic alcohol ink background, so I'm using Couture Creations alcohol ink. I have listed the specific colours and codes of the colours here and down in the description below of my video if you want to have the exact colours. But I'm using three colours here, a blue and a green and a yellow. And I'm going to place a few drops onto my gel printing plate. Now remembering these alcohol inks are very strong in colour. It is an alcohol ink. It will actually stain a little bit of your gel plate. But that's fine. It's great to have a little bit of you know messy product. It's not going to be clean because you, you're messing around and playing with really great products to create wonderful backgrounds. So here I have a small brayer that I've just mixed the colour around. It's very um, hot today so my ink actually has dried up really really well so it's very very important that it is dry before you put a coat of white acrylic paint on top of that. Here I have a bit of a brush here that I've got some uh, alcohol, Asapro alcohol. I'm just sprinkling a little bit of splatters just to create a bit of texture. Now you can do stenciling, you can add stamps, but I just want to do a very basic gel print press um, idea to show you how easy it is to create some really wonderful backgrounds just doing this technique. I'll make some more videos, but at this moment this is just a very, very basic gel pr printing press technique just put in color so now I've just put a bit of um, alcohol not alcohol acrylic paint it's just white acrylic paint you don't need a lot as you can see you just need a little bit but you have to make sure that that surface was completely dry or else you mix up the colors and just once that's all down and covered beautifully this is the Couture Creations brayer it's a really nice brayer, great size, but also when you turn it around, it won't roll away because it's got a little stand that you can actually place it onto your mixed media mat. I'm just wiping off the excess of that and then turning it around, that won't move now. So I'm using some watercolour cardstock. It's from Couture Creations. I have the code here down below and I'm just pressing firmly to make sure that all that paint and all that ink 
adheres to my cardstock. Now I could have trimmed this down to the size of a 5x7 or slightly bigger but I just wanted to show you really quick and easy how fantastic it is to use this technique to create some really wonderful backgrounds on normal paper using alcohol inks. Not UPO or alcohol synthetic paper, just normal watercolour cardstock. So just gently peel that away and you'll see it's created a really nice, very watery, very subtle, beautiful effect. Great for you can create wonderful designs on that. You can do stamping on that. You can cut die cuts out of that because it's out of cardstock. You can do so many things with that and it's a unique piece of colour. You'll never get one like that ever again. So here I have the new Couture Creations background stamps. There are about eight different styles. This one here has got like a leafy, teardroppy uh, design and I'm using the stays in place alcohol ink pad, the khaki colour and I'm just dabbing that all over my stamp. Now I didn't take it off the film because it's quite a big stamp and I just wanted to lay it on top of this image that I created with my gel printing plate. So I'm just applying that over the top and then pressing down firmly. The, the stays in place alcohol ink pad is a pearlized permanent ink that can be used on porous surfaces and also non-porous and this is the unique features of this alcohol ink ink pad. It comes with a reinker and you can reink and use it again and again and again. So there's my beautiful texture with those beautiful leaf drops. I really love that effect and especially with the two green combo, the mono mono tones there. I've matted that onto some battle green cardstock onto a 5x7 card base. So now on to stamping my butterfly. Now this is a beautiful stamp from the Lucy's Everyday stamp set. It's a beautiful flutter butterfly. It comes with a word sentiment and also some other little stamps there. I'm using the Precision Stamp Press from Couture Creations and also using the ink which is the outline stamp because I'm going to colour this image with alcohol ink markers from Couture. Now the best thing about this stamp press, if in case it doesn't stamp out completely you can just re-ink your stamp and press down firmly. Now I created two of these because I'm using one as a base and one to colour in on top and sort of cut it a little bit smaller than the original size. So I have listed all the colours I've used to colour my beautiful butterfly. So this one here is my second layer and I'm going to cut it slightly smaller as you can see the parts that I didn't colour in I'm going to cut it so it fits beautifully on top so it looks like the wings are fluttering by. I probably could do another layer but I thought I'd just do two. It is a beautiful flower and you can colour it any colour you want. I've chosen these colours quite, quite colourful and against this beautiful backdrop of that background stamp with the gel printing press plate and also the alcohol stays in place ink pad colour. It just sets off beautifully. Now another product that Couture Creations have is the 3D Crystal Accents. Now this Crystal Accents is a glossy accent and it actually enhances your projects. It gives a really nice glossy effect to your projects by applying it to anything that you really want. If you want to highlight something or give it three dimensional look. I love it. It needs a while to dry and it's really good. You can even use it as a glue if you want to but that will be wasteful. It's really good for just doing some really highlighting of some colouring in. You can also add glitter to it once, once it's still wet but I just wanted to highlight a couple of pieces of the butterfly in the centre and I also added a word sentiment there thanks from the Homely Florals die set and I actually added a, the glossy or the crystal accents onto that as well. Now you must make sure you leave it to dry because it is very very thick and it, it applies thickly which is that's what you want and it takes a few minutes to actually completely completely dry. So 
so that's my card but I'm going to add a little bit of glitter a little bit of sparkle using some gemstones and also some sequins now a product that's come out too is new from Couture is a pick up pencil now you think you get two in a packet now it looks like a pencil you just need a sharpener to sharpen one end and you use it as a pickup tool. There's a, like a silicon rubber inside there. So when you're using your gemstones to add to your projects, you just dab over your gemstone with the pencil and you apply it to your projects. Now I've got a one quick tip. So once you've actually sharpened your pickup pencil, I'm just going to show you. It's really quite sharp, you know, because it looks like a pencil, right? One tip is to just get a piece of paper and just make it a flat bottom, sort of like a flat tip, so that you don't want a really, really sparkle, sharp tip. You just want a little bit of a dull tip. So this won't run out like this. Does never use goes flat, or you have to use a pencil sharpener. So you just use that, and that helps out with all your gemstones putting them onto your project. Another fantastic way is adding sequins and because sequins are very fiddly to pick up, this pickup tool is excellent. So you just use some, I'm using some all-purpose art glue, just adding a few drops of where I want a sequin to go. This is a quick fast drying glue and it's great for adding sequins and gemstones. So just adding a few drops and with my pickup tool, look how quick and easy it is. Look how quick and easy is that so quick that you're not fiddling around you just add your gemstone look at that or your sequins to your project really great tool to have in any any craft room this is a number one so easy to use look at that how how cool is that i'm really impressed with that that's really good no more fiddling around trying to get it in the right place picking up with tweezers that's the best thing and the all-purpose art glue is a great tool. It dries clear once it's used and dried on your projects. So that's my card for today. It's a very quick and easy card, but I'm just showing you lots of tools that you can use, lots of new tools that have arrived from Couture Creations, and lots of ideas be sure to visit me again. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll be using some more techniques using that gel print press again because I really find that that's a great tool to create some wonderful backgrounds. If you liked my video, please give a big like. Be sure to visit couturecreations.com.au for more inspiration and more wonderful projects and products that are coming to to all you paper crafters very soon. I have a list of all the products I've used in the description below. If you have any questions, please write them down. I'll respond to them. I wish you a very good day. Happy crafting and see you soon. Bye for now.